I hello. Before we begin, I have to do the plug-in. We are reaching the final days of the Kevin plush, and I've decided if we complete the campaign in the short time frame it does have left, I will be donating my earnings from the initial campaign to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. They've done a lot of good things for kids, and I also feel like it's something that Kevin would have done, so we got to honor the good boy. So if you got the coin and you're looking for a piece of merch and you also want to you know, help out a charity, why not give the link a little click? All right, plug over, back to the funny. Just kidding, the first one's a reality check. You're not immune to being the bully, by the way. You're not immune to being in the wrong. But I'm... There is no identity or state of being that makes you immune to hurting someone. You can be convinced that you are in the right for doing so. You can be convinced that you're defending someone by doing so. You have always got to examine if you're taking pleasure in hurting someone or if you're actually doing something good. So stop being a frickin' dingus. Their gender? Questionable. Their morals? Even more so. Alright, Chad, name the character. Shipping and blubberfication are not inherently at odds with understanding a story's deep themes. And some people can't grasp the themes of a story because they never learned how to engage with stories outside of the lens of shipping and blurbification are two statements that can coexist. As crazy as it is to say, sometimes you do roll into a super deep complex story that is usually meant for a critical thinking audience at the age of 12. You know, a picture can say a thousand words and here <laughs> they're all slurs. No, please, my 52 HP. My level one paladin after the pixies who turned her into an octopus made her human again. Put him back. Behold, the distribution of Waffle Houses in the U.S. You mean to tell me the West Coast ain't got a Waffle House? We don't. We got, like, Denny's? Which is only, like, a fraction as surreal as I've been led to believe Waffle House is. Being kissed in your sleep and being pulled closer within cuddles is such a top-tier form of affection. Oh my god, I have a mighty need. I spent countless hours turning aluminum welding wire into a chainmail blanket. Why? Well, I like having weight on me when I sleep, and I like to be cool. The heat dissipating properties and weight of aluminum are perfect for this. Press. Bro, bro's, bro's, bro's getting a good night's sleep. Okay, show up the 18th of September and I'm petrified. Stop. You're 17 and four fifths right now. You're not aging up a full year. You're just going to be a few months older than you are right now. Time moves on. The numbers keep going up. The numbers are fucking meaningless. Can your mainly ship post box stop changing my worldview, please? No. An important announcement. I've discovered that Rose Finches exist. It physically pains me that I cannot be her. I've been on Tumblr for almost 13 years, and I refuse to know what Homestuck is about. Oh, it's very simple. It's it's about a little dude that's got, like, no arms, and he runs really fast. He's got, like, his best friend who is, like, a wrestling dude that hates him. You know, that, that's, that's Homestuck, right? Yes. Hi, we are a job website. We have plenty of diverse jobs for you. So, do you want to do manual labor? or get yelled at on the phone. Those are the two options. Isn't our economy so ripe with opportunity? Do you ever lie awake wondering how the heck Gimli knows what a nervous system is? Well, clearly dwarves have medical knowledge far more advanced than that of the other races. His Majesty, Dr. Gimli, son of Glone, neurosurgeon MD. Gimli trying to explain his studies to Legolas, the flat earther. Scroll down. Remember that Middle Earth is canonically flat for elves and round for everyone else? Scroll back up and smash that reblock button!